Y'all are the Fang Gang. Today's Friday. Fang's out Friday. Let's see if we can capture some Fang footage. Don't attempt, all right? Subscribe, click like. Let's get to this, all right? So there's been a few people that asked me, how do I capture this type of footage so often? First thing you do, thaw out some food. Next, dry it off. And then you feed. Now there's two ways that I capture the fang foliage. With these terrestrial vipers, they'll typically bite and release. So one way is after they release, I wait. Before they go for the mouse or the food, they'll do it sometimes. And that's what you're gonna see in this video. The other way is waiting until they finish eating, and they'll usually do it then as well. So those are the two ways, two times that I capture it. So before I show you the other fang footage I captured today, let's talk about something else. A lot of people ask, where are the fangs when I post these videos? Now, if you see right here, the membrane, that membrane sheath covering the fang. The fang is located up front. You can see here with this little arrow and when that's exposed or when that's pulled back a little, you can see the fang sticking out like in this Gaboon Viper picture. Now with the elapids, the short fixed fangs, like cobras and stuff, it's very small fangs and that gum is covering it. It's very, very hard to see. A lot of people say defanged anytime I show cobra video feedings, uh, but that's just because they're so tiny. Now, if you want to see full video talking all about fangs, a lot of information about the different types of fangs. I'll link this video I've posted before in the description. So go check that out. Let's talk all about fangs, but let's move on to the next snake. So this next snake is again, another Eastern Diamondback rattlesnake. Now I separate them when I feed now, just because I don't want an accidental bite. If they're on the opposite sides of the enclosure, it's easy to feed them but when they're close together like they were, I just separate them because I don't want them to accidentally bite each other. But sometimes when I'm doing these fang or trying to capture fang foliage, it takes a long time until it happens. A lot of times I just give up. So luckily this one only took about two minutes. Sometimes it's much longer. Sometimes it doesn't even happen. And so the next step I would say is patience. If you don't have patience, you're never gonna capture it. it takes a long time. And I've tried setting it up with a camera stand, but they typically move out of frame every time I do that. So not only is patience the last step, but also being in uncomfortable positions, just holding the phone, recording, waiting, waiting and waiting. So last up is this melanistic western diamondback rattlesnake. Now with this one, you're, gonna be, you're about to see something really cool. Venom. After the strike, you'll see venom on the prey. So amazing. Now with this one, you're also gonna see what I was talking about. Sitting there waiting, and she's gonna do a little partial fang foliage with just one side and I knew another one was coming and it was again another partial but that was good enough if I sat there and waited longer I'm sure she would have put both fangs out but I was in an uncomfortable position and sweating burning up in this reptile room still pretty cool huh
But I hope y'all enjoyed seeing this video and how I capture it, learning some things. Go check out that other Fang, that Fang video all about Fangs. Fang gang. Love y'all so much. Subscribe. Click like. Hope you enjoyed. And which one was your favorite? The two Eastern Diamondbacks or the Melanistic Western Diamondback? But yeah, big shout out to my channel members. Now, if you'd like to support this channel, consider becoming a channel member, you get early access to videos, and click the description. Follow me on Instagram, AnimalCon, September 15 through 17. Use code MARK10. Get $10 off. I'll be there. Love y'all.